Sean Spicer gave an absolutely bonkers press conference. And it was so bad that he even came out the day after and he was like, yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> That was pretty outrageous and uh, made the president look bad and he, he was mad at me and oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at the worst part of that press conference. Thanks a lot, Sean. The alliance between Russia and Syria is a strong one. It goes back decades. Um, president Putin has supplied personnel, has supplied military equipment to the Assad government. What makes you think that at this point he's going to pull back in his support for President Assad and for the Syrian government right now? I think a couple things. You, you look, we didn't use chemical weapons in World War II. You know, you had a, you know, someone as despicable as Hitler who didn't even sink to the, to the, to using chemical weapons. So you have to, if you're Russia, Ask yourself, is this a country that you and a regime that you want to align yourself with? Uh, you have previously signed on to international agreements, rightfully acknowledging that the use of chemical weapons should be out of bounds by every country. To not stand up to not only Assad, but your own word should be troubling. This is, Russia put their name on the line. Um, so it's not a question of how long that alliance has lasted, but at what point do they recognize that they are now getting on the wrong side of history in a really bad way really quickly. And again, look at the countries that are standing with them. Iran, Syria, North Korea. This is not, this is not a team you want to be on. Um, and I think that Russia has to recognize that while they may have had an alliance for them, that the lines that have been crossed are ones that no country should ever uh, want to see another country cross. Okay, so let's focus on every aspect of this because uh, there's obviously one point there that's getting all the attention, and it is a horrific point, but the rest of it is also in insanely and profoundly and disturbingly stupid as well. Uh, so he said, oh, well, World War, even in World War II, like Hitler didn't even use chemical weapons. Did you really just say that? Okay, so um, Hitler had gas chambers <laughs> he didn't use chemical weapons that was like the most well-known portion of his barbarity and his savagery is that he had literal gas chambers where he gassed people to death those are chemical weapons and furthermore even if you say well he meant like whatever dropping it from planes on russian troops or u.s troops or british troops or whatever I don't even know if that's true, that he didn't do that. It's not like Hitler had some sort of moral objection to it, because that's the implication. The implication is like, Assad is so bad that he doesn't morally object to things that even Hitler drew a line at. I'm pretty sure Hitler drew no lines. There were no lines for that ultimate, savage, barbarian, Neanderthal, immoral, unethical cretin. Don't, just don't, just, uh, just don't do it, don't do it, do it. Like, here's when Hitler references should be made. Almost never. <laughs> they should be made almost never. It doesn't mean there's, like, literally never in, in a, a chance to use him when it's accurate and it's apt. But this is so wildly inaccurate. Okay, so that's the, the point that people are mostly focusing on, because it's crazy. Hitler didn't use chemical weapons, except those fucking gas chambers, which are, like, the most well-known part of his, his holocaust. Okay, but then there's other parts of it, too, that are just nuts. So, he said, uh, look, we, chemical weapons, we, we didn't use chemical weapons in World War II. Huh? So, I don't know if you know this, uh, we're, we just used, we just used depleted uranium in Syria. So, not only are we using chemical weapons, we're using it right now, and we're using it in Syria! The same place you're mad at, oh, Assad used it, maybe, by the way. It's alleged, and it's a little convenient because, oh, I don't know, Assad had basically already won the war, and Assad had turned over his chemical weapons two years ago, was very well known and widely broadcast, and the international, uh, the international community was like, yeah, he turned them over, we know. Because there was that incident between John Kerry and a Russian official where the Russian official said, what can Assad do to not get bombed by you guys? And Kerry was like, I don't know, give up his chemical weapons, but he won't do that. And then Assad was like, here, take, take them. So... 
a guy who gave up his chemical weapons and basically already won the war is going to do a gratuitous, asinine chemical attack on civilians. Hmm, seems a little bit convenient there. Now again, we know the U.S. used depleted uranium in Syria just recently. Furthermore, uh, we also used it in, uh, Fallujah. Remember that? Remember the whole big thing about the depleted uranium we used in Fallujah? And, of course, we used Agent Orange and Napalm in Vietnam, and, uh, we currently sell white phosphorus to Saudi Arabia, and Israel used that in Gaza, Saudi Arabia uses it in Yemen, right now they do, they use cluster bombs which aren't chemical weapons, but they're illegal under international law, we sell those to Saudi Arabia and they're using them in Yemen, sarin gas is another one that we use often, this, like, this fucking pearl clutching, when, talk about no moral standing to make an argument like this, I mean, it, this is like a, a well-known serial killer, all of a sudden, or Dick Cheney, of all people, coming out and saying, I have moral objections to what is happening. Moral objections? You're Dick Cheney! You're real-life Darth Vader! Go sit outside! Nobody's interested in what the fuck you have to say! So, he also lists there... Well, I mean, look, the people. I mean, you really want to be in league with... Uh, with Syria? I mean, hello? Russia wants to be in league with them? I mean, they're... They're also tied to Iran. Is this really a list of countries you want to be on? You know what I'm saying? And who are you with, dipshit? Oh, that's right, Saudi Arabia. The number one terror state that spreads Salafism, Wahhabism across the globe, which is the ideology of ISIS. The people that don't let women drive and behead people in the public square for sorcery and witchcraft and drug smuggling and apostasy. They say all atheists are terrorists. So yeah, no, we're on, we're with them, and that's cool, but you, oh my god, you're with Iran, who, they look like a, a positively modern enlightened society next to Saudi Arabia. Iran is bad, and they're a theocracy, but they're a Shia Islamist theocracy. We're talking about Wahhabism, Salafism uh, for Saudi Arabia, which is the most fundamentalist, far-right interpretation of Islam that there is. So, god damn. Damn it, I hate this shit. Like, all- every word out of his mouth there was idiotic! He doesn't know what he's talking about! He has no clue what he's talking about! And he's totally unaware of the US and our history. The fact that we lecture anybody on human rights. We just did an illegal war against a country that didn't attack us in Iraq, killed hundreds of thousands of civilians, set up a worldwide torture regime, and now we're gonna turn around and lecture people? And we just did another offensive attack against a country that didn't attack us, and we're gonna lecture people. We had the CIA torture report, uh, or the, the Senate torture report on the CIA. All the things they did. We stole from communist Chinese manuals on how to torture. You know, we were doing mock burials. We were telling people we killed their family and raped their family. We were, you know, forcing, uh, doing sleep deprivation, doing what's a Palestinian hanging, doing... All these different horrific hypothermia torture, anal rape, anal feeding. We did this, and now he's like, "Oh, you have, uh, human rights." Let me tell you, yeah, we're we're outraged by what Assad is maybe doing, even though we haven't provided any evidence that he actually did it. All of this shit is garbage, and perhaps the giveaway that it's garbage is the line that everybody was able to find out was garbage, which is, yeah, even Hitler, man, <laughs> even Hitler didn't use, uh, you know. Chemical weapons, despite the gas chambers. I mean, look, is uh, is, uh, is I mean, who's worse, Assad, Hitler? You no, know I'm saying toss up. Don't believe a goddamn word that comes out of Sean Spicer's mouth or anybody's mouth in the establishment. 